All right. For thousands of years, people have struggled so hard to gain freedom. In fact, we see young people now um, wanting freedom from their parents. They want to go out when they want to go out, come back when they want to come back, do whatever they want to do without anybody's supervision. If we read Bible characters, we discover how people stayed in bondage for 30, 50, 100 years and looking forward to that day where they can say, wow, I am free. You see, nobody wants to be a slave. Nobody wants to be a slave to sin. Nobody wants to be a slave to addiction, to pornography. Nobody wants to be a slave to, to their emotions. Nobody wants to be a slave in a job. Everybody wants freedom. But the truth is, we don't even know what freedom is about. One of my friends said to me that, wow, freedom is sweet because he just finished serving his master for seven years and he got settled after that. And he said, wow, freedom is sweet. It's good to have your own. It's good to account for your own money. It's good to know what, to want, what you want to do with your own money. It's good to spend it when you want to spend it. Use it how you want to use it and all of that. And then I thought about it and discovered that, that freedom is not what we say it is. Freedom is way different, way far beyond what we say it is. When I discovered that nobody has the right to do what they want to do, I discovered that freedom is not what we say it is. All right, so in today's video, we'll be talking about what is true freedom. My name is Amichi and I want to welcome you to another video here, my YouTube channel. I don't take it for granted that you spent this time, that you're spending this time with me and I'm promising you that by the end of this episode, you'll be blessed and uplifted. So let's jump right into it. From the fall, Adam lost the ability to do what is right. When Adam ate from the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, he became prone to doing evil and lost everything in him to do what is right. So you see, every person born under the Adamic nature has lost the ability to do what is right. But we think if we do what we want, then we are truly free. Now let me give you the true definition of freedom. Freedom is not in your ability to do what you want. Freedom is in your ability to do what is right. And you see, not every one of us can do what is right. If we can choose to do what is right, then we are truly free. To expand more on my point, I would like to talk about being set free and being made free. Galatians 5 verse 1 says, Stand fast therefore in the liberty for which Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Christ came to make us free, not just to set us free. Jesus talking to the people who believed in him in John chapter 8, 31 to 32, he said, if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. You see, Jesus was talking to people who has already been set free from the bondage of sin, but he was telling them the roadmap to being made free. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. The truth you believe sets you free, but the truth you know makes you free. Jesus didn't just die to set us free. He also died to make us free. You see, he doesn't just want us to do what we want. He wants us to do what is right. You are set free when the chain is broken, but you are made free when your mind is renewed. Constantly renew your mind with the word of truth. Continue in the truth that you have believed. It is in continuing that you are made. It's in believing that you are set free. You see, the Israelites were set free from Egypt, but they couldn't enter the promised land until they were made free. The journey through the wilderness was them was God trying to change and make them ready for the promised land. He was trying to make them free. To be set free is instant, but to be made free is a continuous process. That is why it is not just enough to believe the truth. You have to continue in the truth that you have believed. You have to press into the truth that you have believed. It is not just enough to hear the truth. You have to go back and continue deepen your knowledge in the truth that you have, you have believed in. It is in deepening your knowledge that you are made free. So in summary, you will never arrive at knowing if you don't continue. It is for freedom, like I said, that Christ has set us free. It is to be made free that Christ has set us free. So true freedom is not being set free. True freedom is being made free. True freedom is not in your ability to do what you want. It is in your ability to do what is right. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. If this video has blessed you, drop a comment and tell me what you think about freedom. I mean, or you can also share with your friend, like and um, turn on the notification bell. So when next I post the video, you'll see it and you'll be part of it. God bless you and have an amazing life.